Hey everyone and welcome back to Made to Order a la Orden. I'm Chef Z and today we're making a delicious chimichurri sauce just in time for grilling season. This chimichurri sauce is perfect because it makes your chicken, fish, steaks, whatever you're barbecuing taste amazing. The chimichurri sauce le da vida a la comida. Keep watching if you want to learn how to make this amazing sauce. I've showed you guys how to make the basics when I showed you how to make sofrito and how to make mojo. Now, I'll be sure to link those two videos down below in case you haven't seen it. But anyways, when I showed you guys how to make that, that was a little bit more Caribbean. And today we're going to go to Latin America and make this chimichurri sauce, which is so delicious and super easy. Now, I know I'm always saying, oh, it's easy. It doesn't take long. And today I'm going to prove it because I'm going to time myself. Now, I apologize in advance if you hear any airplanes going by or if you hear my dog Coco in the background going crazy. I'm really sorry. But anyways, let's get started. And to make this sauce, we're going to need some recao and some parsley, some vinegar, some red pepper flakes, and these are optional, some salt and pepper to taste, some onions, some garlic, some lemon, and we're going to be zesting it and using the juice. Oh my God, I'm so excited for that and some oil. And of course, I got you guys covered right here with all the measurements and the details on the ingredients. Okay, moment of truth. Let's start the timer and let's get started. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna add the recao and then we're gonna add the parsley. And, hold on, I'm just gonna get these little scraps. Okay, and we're gonna add the onions and the garlic, the salt and pepper to taste. So first the salt, and I'm doing about two pinches. And the same thing for the pepper, about two pinches. And that's two. All right, and now we're going to pulse it. Now, it's really important that when you mix it, you just want to mix it enough so that it's kind of finely chopped and not mix so much that it's turned into mush. All right, here we go. There's no power in my food processor. Give me a second. Oh my God. Another one. And one more for good luck. All right. So that's pretty much done. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer everything into a bowl and mix in the rest of the ingredients. Whew, this actually smells so good, so aromatic. I love it. All right, I'm just gonna put that there. So yeah, as you can see here, it's just finely chopped. It's not really mush. All right, that's good enough. All right, so now we're gonna add the vinegar. Just kind of eyeballing it right now. Oh, it all can go, yeah, that's fine. Some red pepper flakes. Now this is going to give it a subtle heat. It's not gonna be so spicy, it's like damn in your face. But again, it's optional, so feel free to omit it if you want. Yeah, nice little healthy pinch. Not too healthy though. <laughs> and now my favorite part is zesting the lemon because it gives it such a vibrant flavor. It's unlike anything you've ever had. So, just a little bit on each side. Just, yeah. Now, when you zest the lemon, all the oil that's in the skin is what gives it that super vibrant flavor that I was talking about. Yeah, look, it's all there. So I just scrape it, get a little bit more. 
I love my food a little lemony, but if you don't like it so lemony, then you can always skip this stuff, but I not recommend, because like I said, it's my favorite part. All right, so now we don't waste anything in my kitchen, so we're going to juice this lemon. And we just want to be careful not to get any seeds in there. And if you do, just like, you know, pick them out. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, look at that. Oh, so good. Yeah, I got a few pits in there. And now the second half. I'm making a mess. Guys, you know, when I film these videos, you guys don't actually get to see how messy I actually am, but listen, I got problems. <laughs> I'm so messy. All right, I got a little pit in there. I'm just gonna pick it out. All right. And now, the last step is gonna be putting in the oil. And you wanna mix it as you put it in, but there's no need to whisk it in. You see me doing it with the spoon, that's all you need. Uh, this looks and smells amazing. And in case you're wondering what the difference is between this and a sofrito, this is way tangier than a sofrito. All right, my time, I'm talking so much, I'm sure this timer has gone crazy. But anyways, we're just gonna like scoop it in here. Oh my God. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. I told you guys, it's quick and easy. Now, I did mention that it's grilling season and I have some friends coming over and I also have some steaks in the grill that once I put this on top, oh my God, <sighs> amazing. I can't wait to eat it. Chimichurri is one of my favorite summer sauces because it's so easy to put it on anything that you grill, like this piece of steak right now. It just really, really brings it to life like nothing else. Guys, thank you so much for watching Made to Order a la Orden. If you have any questions on this recipe, visit my website, ChefZCooks.com, or see the description box below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on social media. Until next time, I'm Chef Z, y buen provecho.